All right, so you got your uh, transplants, and let's say you've put them outside, and you go out the next day to water them, and the plant is not standing up anymore like these are. Basically, it's just laying down flat on the ground. It has been cut off at the base. Congratulations, your plant has been attacked by a cutworm. And the cutworm basically cuts your seedling off at the base, and that's, of course, very disappointing. Well, how you defend against that is you can save a couple things. Got your paper towel, your toilet paper, or your paper towel rolls. Or you can use the sleeve you have for you know, your coffee, go ahead and save those because what you do is they form nice little shields. Of course you'll cut that down, but they form little shields that you'll have around your plant. And the idea is that the cutworm can attack it. So there you have it. Here's another tip that I picked up. I think it has to do with breaking the surface tension of the surface in the water. And if you watch what happens when I water, I'm gonna to try to keep it on this side. What's happening? You can see that as I'm trying to water it, it's kind of bubbling and it's kind of going all over the place. Notice how it's kind of bubbling and it's breaking the soil and it kind of, you know, dislodging it. You don't really want that. <clears throat> so what you can do is, so what you can do is, All I'm doing is I'm just getting the top of the soil wet so that the top of the surface of the soil is already wet. And you'll notice that it's not caking up on the surface. It's not bubbling up. It's immediately going down into, you know, going down into the soil. So we got our, our stick labels here, and you probably noticed that if you use it this way and you start to water your plants, you may notice that the, you know, what you wrote on the label starts to fade or bleed or run. Here's a neat little trick that I learned. And so for felt or rollerball type pens. This is what we're going to use first. And I'm going to go ahead and write on my label here. And I'll put test one. And I'm going to blast it with my water. And you can see that it's uh, starting to bleed pretty good. Yeah, we don't want that. Let's try this. If we use a permanent marker or a ballpoint pen, let's try that.
Looks fine to me. Cool.